Hi, today I'm going to show you how to work out the gradient of a line passing through two coordinate points. So this is how you do it then. If you have two coordinate points, let's call the two points x1, y1 and the other coordinate point x2, y2. Uh, then the gradient of the line passing through these two points can be found using this formula. So M stands for the gradient on the top you've got y2 minus y1 and on the bottom of the fraction you've got x2 minus x1. So let's have a look at a couple of examples. So we've got to find the gradient of a line passing through 2, 9 and 7, 29. So if we label the first coordinate point x1 and y1 and the second coordinate point x2, y2. So next thing we need to do then is substitute the values into this formula at the top. So it's y2 minus y1, so it'll be 29 take away 9 over x2 minus x1, so 7 minus 2. So if we work out the numerator, 29 take away 9 is 20 and 7 take away 2 is 5 and if we just work this one out 20 divided by 5 is 4 you don't have to do anything with that answer so that is the exact value for the gradient so let's have a look at example B this one's a little bit harder because you have to be careful with the negative numbers so again we've got to find the gradient of the line passing through minus 6, 2, 12, minus 4 so to begin with, label your coordinates. This is x1 and y1. And this one is x2, y2. So be very careful now when you substitute the numbers into the formula. So on the top of the fraction, it's going to be y2 minus y1. So it's minus 4 take away 2. And on the bottom of the fraction, we've got 12 take away minus 6 so if we work out the top bit minus 4 take away 2 gives minus 6 and on the bottom we have 12 take away minus 6 so this will be the same as doing 12 add 6 which is 18 so 6 here we've got a fraction so we can simplify it, 6 eighteenths will simplify a third and we can take out the negative so the gradient will be minus one third. Uh, if you like this video make sure um, you subscribe to my channel and like it. Thanks for watching.